and, and balancing our budget. We're proud that this first year we balanced the budget without raising any taxes, uh, without cutting any contributions to our nonprofit agencies who are so critical to serving the needs of our children, our families, and our communities. Uh, we look forward to continuing uh, to support our nonprofit agencies because it's in this time of declining revenues and declining contributions from the federal, state, county, and private sectors that we want to maintain our support uh, for agencies that demands for increase of their programs and services continue during this difficult time. And I do want to end on this, that you know we feel the responsibility of leadership uh, when we look at the challenges that we face when our entire island community is threatened. I do want to thank every one of our first responders, Quinn Smento at Civil Defense, he Police Chief Harry Kobajiri, Fire Chief Tara Olivera, and all of the many community volunteers that respond to our EOC, or Emergency Operations Center. When there was a 7.8 earthquake in Vanuatu, 8.0 earthquake in Samoa, we saw everybody respond and man that EOC within 15 minutes without an official request for participation uh, or presence at our Civil Defense Emergency Operations Centers. We went and had a tsunami drill, first took office in January, and we believe that preparation and the many years under Mayor Harry Kim's leadership as both Civil Defense Director and Mayor has prepared our first responder system. When Hurricane Felicia threatened to impact our island and track towards us for an entire week, uh, we saw the preparedness between Department of Education, between the Red Cross, between volunteers and federal, state, county. Very proud of our team. Believe we responded very professionally and that they were uh, as prepared as we could possibly be for disaster preparedness, disaster response, and disaster recovery. Uh, thank you, all of you, for being here. I look forward to uh, answering any questions that any of you might have with regards to my first year in office. And then I just want to end that it's been an honor and privilege, and I know that as much as we've been able to do, it's but a small step towards moving our community forward, and we understand that the challenges going forward, uh, both economically uh, and with regards to our budget, uh, looms and we'll probably uh, have a little more challenges than we've had in the past, but we look forward uh, to tackling them in a positive way.